everybody, Orphan here. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we completed the Team Star storyline, along with doing completing all of our classes in school and continuing exploring the school a little bit more. This time, we are going to be heading up to the Elite Four. However, I realize it's just going to be heading up there, and I realize that that would be we're not going to take on the Elite Four this part, but we are going to head up there. And probably have a battle with Nimona before we begin. I assume she's going to battle us before we begin. And I realized that, that would be a very short part if I just did that. Okay? Um, so we're doing some more stuff at the Academy here before we continue on. Because I realized that, that would be a very short part if I just did that. So, we're going to talk to the teachers still. <coughs> Hello, Laura Orphan. I try to be in the schoolyard from time to time. Good to see young ones with so much energy and vigor. Think so? Oh, yes, indeed. Just watching is enough to make even an old man like me feel more alive. Master Hassel, might I have a word? What are you doing here? I told you many times not to bother me here at the Academy. Yet I am bound to come. Our family's future is of paramount importance. Good speaking with you, Orphated. Something important has come up, so I must excuse myself now. Unless it doesn't matter elsewhere. Um... Okay. Interesting start. Poor Faded, help me keep an eye out. Would you have set a little ambush here for that girl who keeps watching? It's very second. An ambush? It's even not very pleasant knowing she's just staring at me all the time. Now I know what she looks like they're seeing her in the cafeteria. Ah. It's you, isn't it? You're the one who's been secretly watching me recently. Time, how do you know I... I guess you must have noticed me. I'm so sorry. Of course I noticed. You were watching me practically all day, every day after all. Isn't there something you want to ask me? Yes, I do. I've been a huge fan of yours ever since your time as a gym leader, and I love rock type moves so very much. It's a rock type gym leader, okay. Mine. Just suddenly you're tired from your post the gym leader a year and a half ago. Why'd you quit? My goodness, is that all you wanted to ask? Yes, you're even very tiring and never made public. But it's well known among the students here that you just avoid the question any time it's asked. I thought it would be rude to ask you a question that you didn't want to answer, so I just couldn't find the courage to ask. That's why you guys felt so very intense. I see. Forgive me. It's very intense. Never mind that. So reading that quote my gym leader, job as gym leader, I simply wanted to focus more on my job as a teacher. It's not that I dislike being a gym leader or anything of that sort. Quite the contrary. Talking about the gym fills me with feelings of nostalgia and sadness. So I always avoid answering the question when students ask. I see. Any plans of becoming a gym leader again? I'm afraid I don't plan to do so. Sister is doing a splendid job as gym leader in my stead. I personally find being a teacher most enjoyable these days. But since I am, in fact, your teacher, I would appreciate you calling me this time. As students do, and not just time. Sad to hear that, but I understand. Thank you so much, Miss Time. I suppose that solves the mystery. I made me so nervous. I said so many things to try to sound cool. Certainly a little scared when I felt that girl's intense gaze on me. But here I am. Having, having you here with me allowed me to do what needed to be done to face what turned out to be one of my biggest fans. I must thank you for always showing up just the right time, Warfated. Let me show you my appreciation a little. I hope these help on your adventure. 50 Rock Terra Shards! Ooh! Formed a close bond with this time. Ooh, I can change a Pokemon's Terra typing the rock. I have no reason to. I don't really have a reason to right now I can think of, but like still, I can. If I want. God, I hope Terra Sarge are all the rewards for these guys for uh, talking to all teachers. That'd be great. Also, new kid, come here to school yard for some training? Uh, no, nah, just to look around. Sorry, guys, a little bit of me ask. No point training in the show off in front of other people. Why would you have been running to here to get to know each other a little better? Let's go! We ran three laps around the schoolyard with Miss Dendra. That really worked up a nice sweat. Yeah, a good pair of legs on you, new kid. A good hungry ball training sure does make a body hungry time. I'll do over my homemade sandwich as a way to say thanks for running with me today. Feel those muscles. So, oh. how was that? I hope it was tasty. Uh, to be honest. 
So I shouldn't have asked you that. I'm athletic and all, but I don't know the first good thing about making good food. If your aunt's reaction just reminds me. See you later. Enjoy your sore muscles tomorrow. You became slightly closer, Miss Dendra. Again, this is just persona. <laughs> this is just persona, but without needing to say the correct things. Whoa, there are multiple people at the, uh, at the frickin' entrance hall. Whoa. Ba down down. Ba down down. Ba dum ba dum ba dum. Ba down down. Ba down down. Ba dum ba dum. Where are they? Ah, here he is. <sighs> oh, why hello there, young Norvid. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought and didn't notice your approach. I feel I'm not the game pill to that's Roach Ranch Garden Schoolyard. Didn't bother me. That's very magnanimous of you. That woman who showed up as a dragon tamer and a, and a relative of mine, my dad. You see, I come a very long line training to specialize like in dragon type Pokemon. Aren't you one of the Elite Four members? Shit, I'm gonna deal with dragon types. Okay. Child in our family would expect this kid to attend and leave to greatness. But a young lad would really so felt that he was ran away from home one day. He made quite the show of it, too, swearing he'd make a living with music. A lot happened since then, and now he's the art teacher and the lead board member before you. After I so really took my leave during our last conversation with your relative, encouraged me to give up teaching and return home at last. I've been told that my current leader in my family, that is to say my father, is in poor health. I do apologize. Perhaps I'm not cut out for teaching at all. What sort of teacher grumbles on and on about out of his own student? Hey, you're a great teacher. My dear Orphan, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Thank you, thank you so very much. I feel trusted by Mr. Asshole. <coughs> oh, hey, Orphan. Sorry, were you looking for me? I've been away from the nurse's office lately. Did you need some from me? Uh, no. But when do you have her talk? I'll heal up your Pokemon anyway. Thanks for the free heal that I didn't need, I think. You must be having an adventure out there, judging from those scrapes and cuts. I guess it's pretty unusual for me to get out of the nurse's office like this. I'm actually doing a bit of studying. So I tried my best at the teacher certification exam one more time. You can do it! Just say no, it's totally not because I'm inspired by a certain somebody working hard to tread around, okay? Maybe I am just a little bit. So, uh, you know, uh, thanks. My break time's almost over. I know you'll be cheering me on, Orphe. Bye, wow, bye, bye, bye. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Uh. Bag. 50,000 mm, polka dollars. Okay, I want to know how much I had. Why hello there, Orphan? I've seen the very most crucial moments. Most crucial moments? You see... Master Asshole, I'm here to collect you. So I see. I'm glad that you finally made up your mind about taking your place as leader of the family. Well, you need to have made up my mind. I made up my mind to continue teaching here at the Academy. How could you? Are you saying you don't care what happens to a proud lineage? I'm saying that I have other priorities. But look around at the art decorating this room, would you? Children here lend their senses, their perceptiveness grow freely. And I was to stay there protecting our family's ancient bloodline is of no importance. I simply wish to see young town blossom and grow into the future. It just seems so much more fun to me, if I'm being honest. <sighs> what a nonsense. And yet... Your fearless, unflinching commitment to that nonsensical vision proves that you are worthy of carrying the will of the dragons, Master Asshole. I will not give up. I'll come as many times as I need in order to change your mind. That means my door is open. I think you'll soon find you met your match in stubbornness. You thought I could be cowed by some story that spun up about my far deteriorating health? I'm not so easily fooled. <sighs> I will turn another day. Sorry I had to see all that. So very close to resigning my post as teacher and turning to my home. 
Please don't give me courage to say no. That includes you, whore. Faded, your words truly brought me strength. I cannot think of a way I could possibly repay my debt to you, Nagant. Take this, if you will. Insufficient may be insufficient the full breadth of my gratitude. Fifty dragon terror shards. I don't really have a use for dragon, but thanks anyways. We'll continue on our chosen path and start to use forward. Yeah, I don't really have a use for dragon with my team, but still. Oh my! Well, I can play your stuff. You'll get me fighting, won't you? This fighting's your favorite type. <sighs> Fancy you mean you know Mango's economics classroom. What a coincidence, eh? Likewise. You see, Miss Tender told me she's here for intensive training and sandwich making. No use in hiding now. I'm terribly sorry. Were you keeping this a secret? I mean, not really, but it just doesn't look very cool to open the in here for intensive training, you know. Understood, I'll be more careful in the future. New kid, now that you know what I'm up to, I said to help me on my training here. Try to stay with my training so far. It sounds just soggy and RD. Once again, tastes like much to be desired. Oof. That was my meat lover's prosciutto bacon chosen sandwich. How was it? <coughs> A little meat heavy. You mean there's a problem with my choice of filling? I guess focusing on muscle building green really didn't number in the flavor, huh? Excuse me for a moment. Alright. Miss Ginger, I believe a simple addition of butter would have done wonders for your sandwich. Butter helps to protect the bread from getting soggy due to moisture the ingredients. It can also work to enhance sandwich's flavor. Butter! Thanks, that makes sense. Thank you for teaching me that sentence, Miss Ginger. Why didn't you tell me that while I was making the sandwich? You see, when I saw you, I had not realized you'd begun your own <coughs> food prep. So you're simply trying to destroy my classroom. Uh, anyways! New kid, thanks to you and Mr. Sa Saguro here, I may finally get in the hang of this. Thanks for your advice. You became even closer, Miss Dendra. Where do you want to go? Bum bum. Bum bum. <coughs> bum 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 bum. Alright, where is our language teacher? Where is he? Wait, seriously, where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Orphid, I'm a bit of a pinch. Take a look at this. This Pommy really doesn't seem to be feeling well. I don't know if the poor thing can even stand up. What should I do? What should I do? Oops. Sorry. Use a potion on it. I can use a potion. Do you have any on you? Of course. I'll fix you right on my friend. Potion power go. I seem to have done a trick just in the nick of time. But this finally doesn't appear to belong to a trainer. Can I walk Pokemon and wander into the academy grounds? Still, I can't leave it here alone. Uh, I can't just leave it here alone without even to make sure it's okay. Besides that, I saw draw just had to lend all helping hands I had to take care of the palmy and touching out situation. Mercy, thank you very much for your advice, Horfid. Get moving closer. Adios, farewell. And just checking something. Checking to see where that sweet herb of mystica is for, uh... One of the teachers that we need, but that can't be done till post game apparently. So yeah. Bam bam. Bam bam My dear Orphan. Thanks for your advice from before. Pommy is well, just see for yourself. 
Seems very quiet. Yes, feeling better with this thing probably might just be a bit meek, I suppose. I nurse Miriam take a look at it as well. She said there's nothing wrong with it health-wise. I shouldn't have any injuries, ailments, or like. Even so, I never heard so much as a cry with the thought. That part as if Mr. Jock here stumped. Sorry that couldn't be of any help. I don't know how to say that. Don't worry about it. I have some more reason now thanks to the Academy Security Ground, though. It seems Palmy was attacked by a wild Pokemon and fled here to the Academy Grounds. May still be in a bit of shock from that experience. Can't bring itself to speak yet. If that's the case, there's absolutely no problem keeping quiet. We could just, uh, wait, that is, until it feels like talking. It's all we can do, really. Even if you speak all sorts of languages, no guarantee that you can understand what's going on in someone's heart. Have no fear, I won't give up. No, I'll keep on trying to figure each other out. You feel trusted by Mr. Salvatore. Ah! I think it's going to be doing well. Yep. My dear Warfare, bombing here is as healthy as can be. It seems being quiet is simply part of this one personality, but it's hard for a Pokemon to communicate themselves out speaking up. As you know, while Pokemon use a car to tell each other all sorts of things, like location of food or whether there are predators nearby. So even if I were to release it back in a while, I'm afraid I'm going to do those sorts of things. What do you think, Corfe? Where's Palmy Belong? What about here? At the Academy? You think it's just stay here with me? I was so focused on getting back in good health, and it took a turn a while that I didn't even consider that possibility. What do you think about the idea, my little Palmy friend? It spoke at last! Even without speaking Pokemon language myself, I know there are planning to yes. The dear for mercy is so very, very much for all your help with Palmy. I'm more you to have this. Here, a rare Pokemon food raise. I received a Meowth? We'll take it upon myself to look after Pommy for good. I will indeed. It's probably not a normal Meowth. It's probably, um, either a Galarian Meowth or an Alolan Meowth. Okay, can't do those two yet. No way, no way. Come on, Miriam, just try it. Uh, what's wrong? Great timing, new kid. There's Miriam here won't try the sandwich I made. I wonder why. Duh, I don't want to get a stomach ache. You won't, probably. Tell that sandwich you made for me with meat filling and meat for bread. That one messed me up. Meat for bread? Excuse me? I didn't train the art of sandwich making yet back then. I was young and thoughtless. And young and thoughtless? It was last month! So as you can see, I'm not getting anywhere we're trying to persuade her. Even after I went through that intensive sandwich making training, it makes me kind of sad. Went through intensive sandwich making training? And she worked really hard at it. I guess I had no choice if you got one of her cute little students on your side. Fine, I'll try your sandwich. Let's see it. I knew you'd come around. Here it is. It's a little strongly flavored, but I guess it is not bad. My train paid off! I'm so glad my sandwich waved the great nurse meal. I woke up to you, do you know? Thank you for trying it. Thanks to you too, new kid. Let's turn off again. That was weird. That's how much gender is, I guess. It's all come to nurse off some injury or another too. School store, Miss Dendra again. Huh? <coughs> oh, so do you get here to do a little shopping? Uh, I came here to see you. In the CB, did you? 
sure to check out the sandwiches they got for sale. School store sandwiches taste great and have an excellent nutritional balance too. But what happened to your intensive training? I guess I'm just not used to that yet. All that training kind of wore me out. To my goal anyway, so I'm going to take a break from town speaking for a bit. I didn't tell you what my goal was. I want to pay Nurse Miriam back for everything she does for me. My way of saying thanks. So nice and so skilled what she does. I really look up to her. I want to try sandwich making so I could be skilled doing something for other people, like she is, but I guess I just wasn't cut out for it. What I am cut out for, though, is being full of energy, so I have to put focus on that instead. Like I said in class, I think people in Pokemon should make their stronger points stronger. Help me out, you kid. Take this as my way of saying thanks. Ten bottles of protein. I should I go and get my protein in? Protein increases. Let's go deck, I think. I think. I think that's what she gave us. Yeah. Physical attack. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's walking in the nurse's office. It's working. I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to leave this, but I have to help teach your certification exam. Thank you so much. So you're pushing yourself really hard with your treasure and that really inspired me. <coughs> of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. Thanks for getting pushed. I need to try again, Warface. Ted and Max survives. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. It's your way to always standing in front of class of the academy before you know it. I'll teach you all you need to know about health. That sounds maybe like a post-game thing. But I'm like a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. That sounds like a post-game thing. Where do I want to go? Well, we did everything we can for now. Everything else, I uh, like, take out the snakes, which will lead to probably legendary Pokemon. And the sweeter from Mrs. Cook cannot be gotten until post game. So, we're all done here. We're head up to the Elite Four. Morphan? Uh, Benny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you give me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. I guess we'll be meeting up with Penny first before we do that. <coughs> Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. So cringy, it's perfect, you know? Hey, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. Uh, what happened? Home at least said they would weigh my dad if I do some volunteer engineering for them. He didn't ask me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Mr. Clavel and that ghetto lady kept complimenting me, like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out to meet this like this. Not so great at people face to face. I have to find the right words, but um, thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words are not enough to probably think for all your time, so here. TM 169 Draco Meter. Again, don't have a dragon type. Not really helpful to me. Sure, I'll put it to good use. One more thing. Aren't paid to IOU. If you ever think of a way I do that, just let me know. I'm great at machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Horvath. Uh, yeah, Arvin needs some help. Be seeing you. Hasta la vista. Oh, okay, because phasing into people. Dark all street! Complete! Hey! Nice. That actually completes it. Okay, I said we completed it last time. This actually completes it. I didn't expect to, like, <laughs> have that happen. Okay. Interesting. Anyways, we now need to head up to the Pokemon League. <sighs> Easier said than done. Let's figure out how to get over there. Oh, is it through here?
Onward to Victory Road! It's like a Victory Road in Pokemon games, usually. Hello, I don't have you for my Pokedex. Or I do. I thought I didn't. building looks so cool. Yeah, and I'm gonna kick your ass. One way to mark an occasion. Like I'm getting hiccups. That's not good. Taking on the lead. Yep. Look, like I got promised. Gotta give you a challenge. Oh, 56. I'll play. I went first. <coughs> oh, I don't know Houndstone speed. Some growth out of that? Yes. Hey, I made it. Heal. Okay, so come back and see us whenever you need. Anything behind the Pokemon Lee? Like items or anything? Okay, we can go back here. It seems like a place where you would put say up a TM. A Tombass! That's a good TM. Anyways. So this 
Hey, you saw this Pokemon League. Final test, you must pass to become a champion. It's held here in this building. It's your best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Orphid. Look forward to meeting you again soon. Oh, I guess this is it, huh? I'm going to end things here. And in the next part, we'll take on the Elite Four. I don't know how I'm going to do the Elite Four. I don't know if I'm going to split each Elite Four member up into their own separate part. Or have like two Elite Four members apart. Do the whole thing in one part. I don't know how I'm going to handle it yet. So next time will be me recording like the whole thing. You know, and whatnot. But we'll see. That'll be it for now. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next part. Hope you have a good day.